why all pronunciation dictionaries are faulty. This is because of questionable syllabifications. Let's see how the word spelled P-R-E-L-U-D-E -E, is pronounced in English. A. First, we check the online Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary, 9th edition. It says, for British English, prelude. American English, also prelude. Then we listen to the online recording, which gives the first syllable as pre, and the second syllable as lude. Everything is fine. However, once the word is syllabified, everything goes downhill. B. Next, we check the Longman Pronunciation Dictionary, latest edition 2008. It says, for British English, prelude. For American English, A. Plow you. B. Plow wood. C. Prelude. Obviously, they are different from the recording which says Prelude. C. Cambridge English Pronouncing Dictionary, 18th edition, 2012. For British English, Plow. Yield. For American English, A. Plow yield. B. Plow wood. C. Play loot. D. Play loot. Of course, all of them differ from the recording which says play loot. D. Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. For British English, you have plow yield. For American English, you have plow yield also. Again, the recording says plow yield, which is different from both the British and the American versions. E. Merriam-Webster Online Dictionary. For the American English transcriptions, they are all different from the letters of the International Phonetic Alphabet. Therefore, all of these transcriptions are translated into IPA as follows. The first one, plow yield. Notice that there is a mark here which indicates that the syllable after it is stressed. Two, plow yield. Three, play loot. Four, play loot. Five, play loot. Of course, all of them differ from the recording which says play loot. Conclusion As none of the syllabified transcriptions, ten different ones in all, reflect the recording. Prelude. All of them do not abide by the inviolable matching axiom of syllabification. That the written syllables in a transcription must match the spoken or heard syllables in a one to one manner. The many different syllabified versions of Plattlude point to an unsavory fact. All learners are adversely affected. Students, upon seeing syllabifications in various dictionaries, will struggle in deciding whether to syllabify Amy as Amy or Amy, Abel as Abel or Ape. O. Ability as ability or ability.
e, etc. Further, there are lots of words whose syllabifications in dictionaries are beyond the reach and understanding of the man in the street. Simple words like apple, metro, petrol, headache, adder, additive, color, baggy, cupboard, toddy, pudding. They cannot be reflected in the transcriptions here because the man in the street expect the transcriptions here. An English teacher can teach and a foreign or second language student can learn only if the words to be learned have been properly syllabified. However, students nowadays have to contend with pronunciation dictionaries which do not abide by the matching axiom or principle in syllabifying their entries. Confusion and misconception arise. To protect them, a learner-friendly English pronouncing dictionary for L2 learners must be made available as soon as possible. To summarize, the transcriptions on the market include 1. Prelude 2. Prelude 3. Prelude 4. Prelude 5. Prelude 6. Prelude 7. Prelude 8. Prelude 9. Prelude 10. Prelude. None of them can reflect the recorded pronunciations, which are unanimously Prelude. Prelude.